In my experience um, in the fashion industry, I have come across and worked with an awful lot of young designers people who are starting out in the fashion industry who may well be very, very creative and have an awful lot of talent, but in most cases actually don't have the business acumen to back that up, um, and, and so consequently they fail. Um, and I think uh, organisations like this one um, need to be, uh, or there's such a need for organisations like this to, to actually to be there to support these young designers and to support the incredible talent that we have in this country, which is something that, that you know, we're, we're hugely proud of. I suppose um, the fact that I have um, managed um, certainly a couple of brands in terms of, 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 of turning them around in a sense and changing people's perceptions of them. Um, so I kind of, I know what it takes in terms of I know what the steps are that, that one needs to take in order to, to, um, to make a brand relevant and exciting and, and sexy again, I suppose. Um, I know probably the order in which one has to do that, and I also know how long it takes uh, and, and how, how, how much you have to sort of persevere and, and to, to do that. So um, I suppose having first-hand experience of doing it is, is probably quite useful to them. Um, I don't know, hopefully... Um, there are a lot of things in this industry that um, are, are, are very complex and confusing and, and, and difficult to understand for people entering the business, so perhaps I can unravel some of that for them. In this business, it is a creative business. You have to have instinct and you have to have a bit of intuition and you will very often be told that you're not doing the right thing and I think if you have a clear vision yourself and you know what that is, then you have to stick to it. Um, I think that would be probably the best advice.